The Virginia legislative session coming to a close this month with lawmakers passing a $188 billion spending package and sending it to Governor Glenn Youngkin's desk. But as News 5's Ashley Hoke tells us, Governor Youngkin says he isn't sold on the plan, adding that he believes the budget is, quote, needing a lot of work. We got to go to work. And uh, I was hired to make sure that we drive Virginia forward, that we reduce the cost of living, that we reduce the burdens of taxes. That's the reaction of Republican Governor Glenn Youngkin after lawmakers approved a budget at the close of this legislative session. They sent me a, a backwards budget. It's a budget that takes us uh, directly backwards from what we've been doing for the last two years, which is reducing the tax burdens on Virginians with $5 billion of tax relief over the last two years. And they've been here for 60 days, and there's $2.6 billion of tax increases and increased utility bills that are going to land on Virginians. This marked Youngkin's third session since taking office, but his first having to work with a Senate and House controlled by Democrats. The session was, was okay this year. It was certainly a little bumpy at times with a Republican governor and two democratically controlled houses. Um, you always get a little bit of a push-pull going on, and certainly we had that throughout uh, the course of the session, culminated with a little bit of a testy vote on the budget near the end. The you Senate Majority Leader saying Youngkin would have to negotiate and not dictate. With Youngkin stressing there should be more of a priority when it comes to law enforcement needs and driving economic development in the Commonwealth. I don't want to see tax increases. And it's unfair to, to all of a sudden turn around after $5 billion of tax relief and for the Democrats to put their hand in every Virginia's pocket and try to take $2.6 billion out of it every year going forward. So I guess overall, what message do you have for Virginians as they're kind of hearing these ongoing conversations when it comes to the different numbers involved in this budget? And so I'm going to continue to make sure that we stop those things that would put the brakes on and accelerating Virginia, and we continue to drive forward those things that are going to provide exactly what we want to do, more jobs, more opportunity, and as a result, more prosperity. As for the next steps after Youngkin makes amendments and vetoes to this budget. When we go back on April 17th, we'll vote on the final uh, passage of the budget. Reporting in Southwest Virginia, Ashley Hope, News 5, WCYB.